it's time now for Let's Play and Chat. And uh, I just got the code for NHL 19, locally made since the very beginning uh, at EA Canada. And lots of great people work on this game. It is the little game that could in uh, inside the EA empire because they don't get the budgets that FIFA does or Madden does. Probably UFC gets more money now. Uh, but every year they make something entertaining. Um, and every year they, uh, they also piss off the diehards that want lots and lots of features. I have not played this game. This is the first time I'm playing it. Uh, but I want to check it out. Um, I'm in the uh, world of Chell mode right now. I don't know what that is. We'll see what it is together. And then we will, uh, if we don't like it, we'll jump out and we'll play some of the other stuff that's in here. But I know there's lots of modes and lots of fun. And uh, let's, let's start with Let's Play and Chat. And uh, uh, Blake will jump on and, and we'll go through uh, some of the comments. Remember to uh, capitalize as much as you can so we can see that stuff. And let's play. Okay. So I'm just going to um, advance. I'm not going to customize anything here. Let's do it. I turn the music off. EA, fix your menus so that you, like, for streamers, just letting you know. Like, a lot of people want to share this stuff right away. Every publisher, developer, fix your menu so you can turn licensed music off first thing, as soon as you turn it on. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Look at all these things. All these features, 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 features. Woo! Customize. Okay, woo. I got a woo. I could choose my woo. Okay, let's... Okay, let's go. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go. Goal emotes. I don't even know what I am choosing. Woo! Sorry, Blake. I'm not in the end of the game yet. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, show UI. Okay, preview. Okay, let's go. Is that it? Is this all that World of Chell is? Goal emotes? Hide UI, select, go back. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what world of chill is. Okay. That's it. Okay. Presentation, Joe NHL, save. Okay, dude. Okay, here we go. Oh, I see. I jumped into one of the... There's menus upon menus upon menus. That's what I've experienced so far in NHL 9, 19. Many menus. Okay, world of chill. Progression rewards. Open bag. Here's our loot bag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Toronto Maple Leafs. Here we go. Okay, rare. Okay, I got that. Okay, let's go. Practice with Pro-Am. Okay, we're playing a game, guys. We're here. We're inside. We're through menus. Let's play. Hi, everyone. Okay, let me know if the game is too loud, because I don't know. All right, here we go. Menus taking too long. Many menus. <laughs> okay. Light up Luongo. Here we go. What is World of Shell? Is I have it, no idea, is man. Is it Shell the character from Portal? Uh, no, it's the different Shell. Okay. Different Shell. That'd be cool, a hockey game I, with a Portal gun. I think this is um, uh, the kind of story mode that they have. Is this okay. the... Good God. <laughs> Just play. Wow. That's That's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, because we did a whole bunch of menu surfing before we... Yeah, because we had to turn off the licensed music, and it was <laughs> oh just like, God. fuck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just play the game. <laughs> okay, so we're on the pond, especially because we're just going to the pond. You, you, know? go, you go from the pond to the pros. Yeah, okay. According to Sean Ramjag Singh. Okay. So All right, how, okay. how does it sound, everybody? Let me know. Sounds pretty good. Let me know if the game audio is too loud. Uh, there is music, though, and I did turn the music off. Let's see if... Uh, so, settings. Let's go to another menu. Audio and visual settings. Uh, volume settings. No music. No maybe, music. Maybe turn the commentary volume down? I don't, I, I don't want any music. Okay. <laughs> You might want to turn the commentary volume down, too, just because they're going to be talking over us, and it might sound weird. Okay. All right, let's see. Hopefully we don't get flagged. Okay, here we go. Uh, how do I just get back to the thing? Okay, go. Resume. Sure. Okay. I, I mean, there's totally music in here. I don't know if it's <laughs> if it's licensed music or what. But I... Is it that, that, ho that song they play at every hockey game? No, 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 no. No. Hey. Na, na, na. We're probably going to get flagged for that. 
Yeah. That was technically a DMCA violation. Uh -huh. I didn't get permission to sing that song. Just now. Okay, so I, I'm only one character. I see. I see. They're passing it to me. Uh, Tyler Fisher says, comment, Vic, I'm so glad Funhouse reached out to you. Yeah, that was cool. What is Funhouse, Vic? Uh, Funhouse is uh, part of the Rooster Teeth Empire. Oh, right, yeah. And uh, actually, um, Greg Miller said I should talk with those folks, and we uh, I almost met with them at E3, but I uh, we didn't connect. It was E3 was nuts. But one of their producers is uh, a fan of uh, Electric Plague. It's Elise Williams. How you doing, Elise? She's a fan of EP and reviews on the run. And uh, so we haven't had any chats or anything like that, but we connected over Twitter. And I, that was instigated by somebody replying to my CBC uh, uh, tweet out there. Because uh, Kyle Chenard said, "Why you should be on CBC 30 to 60 minutes every day. And, yeah, I, that'd be nice. and I was cheeky and I said, you know, that's not a bad idea. But I don't know. I, CBC is a big, big organization with lots and lots of people that have to approve everything. Uh, my legs hurt has a question for you. Oh, okay, go for uh, it. Do you think AAA gaming will shrink into the control of just a few select companies less than what there is now? No, I don't think AAA gaming has begun, is what I really feel. Gaming, you know, like I created EP 25 years ago because of the potential of games. We're not there yet. Mm. We're not there. I think the Grand Theft Auto series does. It gets We're there. not there. It gets that it's, And I'm not talking about the quality of the games, I'm talking about the cultural reach no, of the games. No, that's what I mean. That's yeah. what I mean. I think Grand Theft Auto is there, I think Call of Duty is there. Well, they're, they're there in terms of marketing, in terms of like everybody sees the billboard, but in terms of millions of people, and it sells well comparative to the way the games get. Like, Oasis in... The Oasis in Ready Player One, that's what I'm talking about, you know? Like when everybody, and this is all of us growing up and Wait, growing old with the, I'm quitting. Gonna, I'm you're quitting. You're abandon your team. Yeah, it was crap. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't like the music. Like I, I hate that I've got music going in this game. Uh, but yeah, w once we get to the, uh, I'm just gonna play like a regular NHL game. Once we get uh, into the the same kind of ubiquity of. Uh, like The Bachelor and all this garbage that just persists that like even you and I don't hate, we hate that crap. Like I, I can't stand that I know, how come I can't quit? I don't want this. Get, get, get out of this. <laughs> EA, fix your menus. This is unbelievable. EA Canada is like 10 minutes away. Where this is can. terrible. I know people who work there. Do you want to like go there right now? This is unbelievable. Like, I don't want this. I don't want welcome to the world. Are, are you friends I wanted with Sean Ramjeck? Yes, on I am. Yeah, I want to go back to the main menu. Send him a Facebook message right now. How, how, do, like, I, hey. how do I go back? This is so bad. Be like, hey, Sean, what up? What I can't believe this. What are you doing to me with these menus? No, I don't want the world of chill. I want to get out of the world of chill. <laughs> Take me out of here. <laughs> Quit this. Quit the world of chill. How do I do that? <laughs> but you guys know what I'm saying? Like, we, we need to get to, um, like, what would America's next top model and the greatest chef of America and, like, <laughs> I don't, like, there's so, okay, here's the different I, th I okay. think Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto are there. They're not. They're not there. I think, like, uh, I think they, they aspire. Was they there. aspire to get to Pokemon twenty million. Was there. They get to a, They aspire to twenty Candy million. Candy Crush is there, which is depressing. Some, some of the mobile games for sure get up to that. Yeah, and, that's where we are. And some of the uh, um, the free to play things get there, but not every title does. You know, like Spider Man. We just talked about Spider Man getting three point three million sales, right? That's, but that's the same amount of money that a blockbuster. Sure, movie it's the makes. same amount of money, but a, a game costs six times as much as a movie ticket. So right. if you know, like, okay, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So fewer people. Yeah, yeah. like like. 60 million people will go and see the Avengers on yeah. an opening weekend. Yeah. That's where we got to get to. We got to blow past these these ceilings that we have on acceptance for games, and uh, and then it's ubiquitous, and that's when AAA really kicks in. You know, that's when everybody goes, "Oh my God, have you played this?" You know, everybody. You know, like when everybody is saying, "Oh my God, have you seen the Avengers Infinity War movie?" Yes, like you said. Okay, that's. Look at you're, all these. You're menus. missing the. It's it's teaching you how to use the menu. Holy crap! Isn't that what you want in a game to have menus oh, so complicated oh that you need God. to be instructed in how to use a menu? Holy crap! I mean, if 
This is crazy. I mean, some games teach you how to that, play the we're game. Playing the, we're playing the... Menu tutorial. Well, we're playing the NBA Jam version of the game right now. And there's music, by the way. So we're totally flagged. Yeah. This is fucking frustrating. <laughs> yeah. What are the fridge raiders? Uh, um, like, honestly, this is this is is so frustrating. It's unbelievable. Okay, I just want to play the game. I don't want to hear this stupid music. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. People are mad at me for mentioning Candy Crush. I'm just talking, I'm just trying to think but, of something that but, has but mainstream appeal. Those have mainstream appeal, but nobody is proud of those games. Yeah. Nobody is gonna go out there and say, I, I am awesome at Candy Crush. They play it and they're embarrassed by it. I want people to talk about games with that same fervor as, as, look, there's music everywhere. I've turned off the music, EA, come on. Should I just kill the volume altogether? Oh my god, this is so bad. I mean, we've already been flagged, so I guess we might yeah. as well just... Yeah, these menus are something else. Volume settings. Oh, they put it all right back up again. This is so bad. So you have to bad. change the... Yeah, you have to put it up again. Menu, it's music, volume, yeah, get rid of that. So bad. I can't believe it. Do you want people to stream this? Okay, here we go. Apparently not. Uh, um, all right, here we go. Oh, I don't want that. I want to go back up to resume and press the X button. Okay. All right. Um, you know what I'm saying, though. We, I, I get what you're saying. We, it's got to be much better. I agree. I agree. Then it's AAA. Then it's like... Then it's that same sort of prestige as, like, who is directing the new Star Wars movie, you know? Like, everybody should... The new Game. Yeah, everybody sh should know who Brian Intihar is. Not just us, not just our group right here, you know? And who Amy Hennig is and who Neil Druckmann is. You know, Cliff Blazinski, I think, got pretty close to that kind of um, <clears throat> notoriety. Yeah, but not mainstream notoriety. My mom yeah. doesn't know who Cliff Blazinski well, is. Well, that's my point. You, when your mom starts to know who some of these individuals are, you know, and how much, and, and and she starts to care that Spider-Man is a huge hit for yeah, PlayStation, yeah. that's when AAA really begins. Okay, everything that we know about games right now is the step towards that. Maybe that's just why take older generations dying and younger people getting. Yeah, that's right? part of it for sure. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it, it not so much dying, but. Uh, well, you know. Younger generation sort of taking control of yes. uh, of the content that gets made. Like I was at CBC, and I, I don't mean to disparage anybody over there, but like they were talking about a cookbook, and it was much on the radio show that I was on, and it was great to be on the radio show. But that cookbook was a much bigger deal than the fact that Capcom Vancouver was shutting down and 160 people lost their jobs. You know, in terms of the excitement of uh, the team inside, and and. It's, and, and I'm not trying to like say that they're cold hearted or they have no, it just is. It's just like the, the mainstream world just doesn't know enough and doesn't care enough about the industry and we need to keep growing and change that, you know? And it's not just about protecting the jobs, it's about culturally it needs to be something we're all proud of. Uh, Johnny McFly says EA bring back NBA Street. Also bring back uh, Def Jam Vendetta. Yeah. Did EA make the Def Jam games? Yeah, they did. I thought that was Midway. Josh Holmes worked on that. The guy that was uh, the, he was uh, he started Propaganda and then uh, he uh, was the creative director on Halo. Uh, on Halo Four, and he left recently. He, he's uh, he's a Canadian, but he was he was working on uh, Def Jam Vendetta. I did a good job with those games. Um, okay, I'm quitting this. That was fun. Let's play a regular game and let's see if the mu the menu music all pops right back on. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel like because hockey isn't as because EA Canada they make hockey games and they make FIFA and FIFA is obviously the biggest sports game in the world sports video game in the world and NHL is the smallest so I always feel like that the NHL team gets fewer resources than the FIFA team they do yeah, yeah. so you can always kind of tell like NHL is kind of like gets the leftovers they don't get the leftovers. They get the people focused on this stuff. Yeah, but they but don't, it's a they, smaller, like it's they don't not have as, the budget. It does, yeah, it doesn't have the same. It doesn't feel as big a deal yeah. as the FIFA games or the Madden games. Okay. 
Let's go. How are people feeling about Telltale? Is there despair? Is everybody okay? Yeah, people are sad. Yeah. I kind of don't want to scroll all the way back to the... <laughs> <laughs> Well, Those Telltale games had kind of mainstream uh, popularity. Like, my mom played no, a couple of the Game of Thrones we, Telltale games. Dude, on we have iPad. not scratched the surface. You know, like, we had the International in Vancouver, and it was like, huge. But, but they had, I, we had millions of people watching it. And I talked to news people that were here. They're like, are you going to the International? They had no idea. I, I don't even know all the stuff that's going on with Dota 2 and the the International. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it's not as in our face as the damn Kardashians and Kanye West and Justin yeah. Bieber was busking at the Buckingham Palace. Like, I don't give a shit about any of that, but I know about all of that. You know? Like, I, I don't know about any of that. Well, it's just it filters into your head no matter what you do. It's so per, It's so pervasive. Okay. Uh, Blair Farrell says, as someone who is forced to watch CBC News at their job, they only sh they, they only ever show game stuff when it's Fortnite corrupting youth and yep. during fan I know, I know, and that's that that it bugs the crap out of me, and and uh, hopefully I'll end up talking to people over there, and maybe I can start to make a small difference. They scored. Who scored you? No, they did. Who are you? I'm Vancouver. Oh, okay. I'm the guys playing, in blue, playing, blue and green. Uh, who's that? Calgary. Yeah. The flames have broken the scoreless Okay, it's very subdued. Early. No music. Thank you for preserving no music. Rogers Arena. If if they could do a title update on this game and just say turn all music off, EA, I'm I'm begging you, please do that right from the get go. Rogers Arena, right next to the viaduct. And honestly, why bother with paying for licensed music anymore? Don't don't do it. It's just a pain in the ass, and no one cares. It's a point hammer shot. Imagine how much traffic there's going to be around Rogers Arena when they get rid of the Viada. Yeah. We should talk about local traffic that's, stuff. <laughs> that's an inside baseball yes. moment right let's there. Get, let's get very East <laughs> Van about traffic patterns uh, while we're playing this game. How do I switch characters? And he steps across the okay. line. Uh, Tyler Fisher wants to know if you prefer Vic or Victor. I'm I'm Vancouver's good either way. Yeah, I, I, I honestly I never even thought about it. I just call you both. I think. Yeah. Well, I've never called you Victor like. I mean, that, Victor is more formal. Yeah. When I'm talking to you, I just call you Vic. Like, hey, Vic. Uh, blah, blah. Yeah. But, yeah, sometimes when I'm writing your name for stuff, like, I'll use both. Like, I guess I never really thought of it. Yeah. I, I, I don't get too uptight about it at all. Whoa, was that the, the CBS? M NBC. Yeah. Yeah, they, they have the rights. They used to, so they they used to do... They stuff, too. They could. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, well, what's the, oh, he's got the retainer in his yeah. I felt like his jaw was not the flames really lead oh, no, it's the, te it's the mouth guard. Yeah, protect your teeth. Yeah, very important. Takes it in from okay, the so R2 does the uh, character or the player change, and it's also the pass button. Ooh! Badly aimed. Oh, it gives me feedback right away. Get in there! Oh! Oh, I love this freaking game. It's so fun to play. The flames are driving it from the way. Oh. Hockey, hockey is, the is the uh, the Spider-Man of sports games. Oh, broke it up. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just fun to move around. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's always just been a fun it's always been a fun sport. How good are you at skating in real life, Vic? I'm okay. Can you skate backwards? Yeah, but not Those not back deep for it. Not with confidence. I, I'm I'm actually a really good skater. Yeah. And I can skate backwards like as fast as I can skate. Wow, really? Yeah. I used to play hockey when I was a kid. Nice. But I play floor hockey, not ice hockey. My sister's husband is from the UK and they don't have ice rinks over there. Yeah. Like it's just not a thing. Yeah. So we took him skating. Yeah. The first time he came here. Concussion. No. <laughs> He didn't know that you could skate backwards. Oh, okay. Like, he didn't know that skating backwards was a thing. He'd never watched hockey. Yeah. 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 So, my sister's like, I'll get my brother to show you. Well, there's a perfect analogy on my video games have a long way to go thing. More people know about hockey than they do about video games. Well, hockey's pretty cool, but... You left your he, stick on the ice there, Vic. Yeah, I dropped it. But it's, it's, also, it's also a sport that's not necessarily booming. You know, it, it gets the, the least amount of budget and the least amount of ratings and stuff, but still. Well, in Canada, it's, that's not the case. No. But worldwide, yes. Yeah, but worldwide, probably more people pay attention to hockey than they pay attention to video games. And that's how far we have to go. Nice work by Del Zotto. Na, 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 na. Hey. Get in there! Oh. Are you doing our own theme music? Yep. Okay. 
Uh, correction, this game uses presentation and graphics from NBC Sports. Is that NBC? Yeah, it's yeah, NBC, NBC Peacock. I, I knew what it. What did we say? You, you said CBS. Okay, well. uh, ABC used to have the uh, hockey rights, and NBC used to have basketball, but then basketball got very expensive, and I think uh, ABC probably leveraged some uh, ESPN to get the deal. Uh, ABC and then, and ESPN and, and the Disney. yeah, the and then Time Warner worked out something for TNT for the uh, the weekday games. Uh, shout Tyler Fisher, shout out to his wife. Sunday is her birthday. Oh, nice. Cassie is her name. Happy birthday, Cassie. Uh, ten years together. Monday. Fantastic. Go see uh, Fahrenheit 11.9. It's a perfect date movie. Is it really? <laughs> no. no, it's depressing. <laughs> I watched it with my wife, and she was crying the whole time. It's just like there's a lot to be Although, uh, concerned about. If you watch Trump for two hours, yeah. you First look like the best guy in the world, we'll right? <laughs> so if you're trying to impress a girl, you know, if you stand next to Donald Trump, you're going to look better, you're going to sound better <laughs> by comparison. So there's that. <laughs> See, now, here's the thing. Obviously, a Zamboni came out yeah. in between there. Cause the ice I, I was clap I was punching buttons, I think. Is there an animation of the Zamboni? Yeah, there is. Yeah, They, they put all that stuff in, for sure. Now, is there a Zamboni minigame? Uh, could because be. There, there should be. I want to drive the Zamboni. Could be. Could be. I mean, they, they certainly know how to have fun in and around the rink. I think that freeze game is the game that I'm going to be playing a lot of when I review this thing, this when I figure out how to navigate the menus. Yay! And the okay. Has Can you smack the ref? Uh, no. Why not? That'd be awesome. Uh, the NHL would not approve a game that lets you <laughs> smack the ref. Good shooting oh! Do, do they still fight in hockey? Is that still yeah. a thing in real life? Yep. Uh, it's the Orca. The, yep. What's the Orca's name? Uh, I don't know. He has a name. Frank. It's a or Frank the Orca. Somebody tell us what the Orca's name is. I'm surprised Trudeau Calgary's hasn't killed him yet. Oh, oh. with a with a oil tanker. Yeah. Oh, we're getting so political on, <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the episode today. Uh, Colin McDonald, question. Hey, Vic. Frisky or, Friday. Yes. Question from Colin McDonald. Hey, yep. Vic or Blake, have you ever been to a Canucks game before? Yeah, they're great. I've, I've been to several when I was a kid, mostly. I love it. There's something about live sports, man. And, and you know what? And that's what I always say about the uh, the sports video games, too. It's like, yeah, they're expensive, and yes, you know, it's incremental upgrades every year, but uh, it's cheaper than going to one li real-life game, and you get the whole season, multiple seasons, and all the extra features and stuff like that. As long as you're not going crazy on the card packs, unless you got lots of expendable income. Uh, well, no, even then you shouldn't, because it's gambling. Yeah, you shouldn't, but... You can uh, you can get a lot of value out of these things if you love the sports, you know? Like like I was saying with NBA 2K19. I freaking love that game. Okay. Wow! Uh, that West was good. Got a well-aimed slap shot. Still not scoring. Though. Wesley West is saying that the worker's name is Finn the Whale. Finn, perfect. Which I, I, I knew he had a name, but I just couldn't remember what it was. Perfect. Okay. I, I've seen, seen Finn the Whale on the social media. Uh, Jordan Cunningham, question, hey Vic, do you think Nintendo will release the N64 Classic this year to no. compete? No. Yeah, I think if it was coming this year, we'd have heard about it. Yes! Woo! 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 Did they say goal in, in real life, or is, that, or is that soccer? That's soccer. But let's bathe in this moment together, shall we? Yay! <sighs> I just realized we're both wearing like the exact same uh, we, we are totally twins, what happened? Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Two Canadians. Look at this. It's ridiculous. Spot the Canadians on the stream right now. Uh, I know you're all screaming at home. You're dancing at home. Thank you for joining in that celebration. Let's go Canucks. Go Canucks. Go Canucks. Go Canucks. Go. Um, I asked Nintendo yesterday when I was there. Um, actually, after they gave me the uh, the awesome. Uh, Octopath Traveler Wayfarer's Edition because <laughs> I probably wouldn't have got it if I asked before. Uh, but I asked them, is, is the N64 Mini coming out this year? And they just looked at me yeah. with angry eyes like, we, we, shut up. Whenever we go to Nintendo, we always ask questions like that and, and they can't tell us. Yeah. Most, they probably don't know. Well, sometimes they do know and they sometimes can't tell us, but yeah, usually like, they, they certainly operate on a need-to-know basis over there. <laughs> it is. It is like you're going to 
like Smirsh or something, you know, or <laughs> MI5. Gives it over to the Go! Ah. The uh, people are out. Uh, cats, games, whatever. Yeah. Is asking how do we feel about Telltale? Chooses we already discussed that. Yeah. We, it's well, very obviously sad. We're, we're unhappy. It's very sad, and um, you know, like th these big studios, like you. They stay with you, you know? Like, I still think about Westwood, and I still think about Pandemic, and Propaganda, and uh, uh, Don Danglo's studio. I forget, the, the, the company that made the um, something Storm, they were Stormfront. They were in uh, in the Bay Area. They made that incredible Two Towers game, the Lord of the Rings game, and then EA made the Return of the King game internally, and then not long after that, Stormfront was gone. Um, yeah, and I think about all that stuff all the time, you know, and, and I know, oh, I'm thinking about companies that are gone and I'm getting scored on. Uh, yeah, the changes hurt, but um, God, there's a lot to celebrate in what's happening in video games, you know. I had somebody, I posted the, um, the link that I, um, uh, of me on breakfast television in Vancouver yesterday talking about Capcom Vancouver and one of my friends said what kind of good news is there in, in, in the game industry Capcom Vancouver is gone and, and and I said no there's still tons of good news and it's important for us in games that love games that, that love this industry to kind of recognize that there is lots of good news uh, to enjoy and appreciate and to spread you know because there is there's tons going on that's fantastic Oh my good. This is bad news though. I'm getting wailed on here by Calgary. Uh, Adam no. Sherman says Canucks goalie Calgary's is like a, is no wait. The, he says Canucks are the worst goalie to go. Oh okay. So we have to ban him. <laughs> no, don't ban Calgary fans. Yeah, and we got a VR chat. Grid. Thank you so much, buddy. And, and VR Grid earlier, I think was asking, uh, what's where do you go for merch? Uh, uh, designed by human. Actually, designed by human just sent me a thing, and I tweeted it. There's a sale on if you get uh, your second shirt is 50% off, and I don't know if that means you just ran right through the rep. Yeah. Did I? Yeah. Did he fall? He kind of moved. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if that means you, like you have to get two from the same store. Like if you go to the EPN store, I don't know if you have to get two from EPN or. Did I score? Oh, a punch. Oh, it's having a fight. Or if you can get 50% off anything that DBH sells, but uh, you should check it out. My favorite thing is the hoodie, the zip hoodie that they have on there, the EPN zip hoodie. It's it's awesome. I wear it a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, Game Freak is asking if you have predictions about the other unannounced games for the PlayStation Classic. Ooh. I think cause I Sony, Sony just cut a deal with Activision over. for That's Crash Bandicoot. The... Remastered Trilogy? They'll so, probably be on there, yeah. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Crash Team Racing would be a, an awesome game. But you know what? They can't be... This point. is the problem with this thing. Their gloves came off so quickly. Yeah. They can't, <laughs> they can't be the analog-controlled PlayStation games because it's only a digital controller. So we'll probably get Wipeout, which was one of the early ones, the first Wipeout. Oh, that's right, because because the, the, it didn't come out with the analog sticks right yeah. away. Yeah. yeah, so I would imagine that most of the class, and that would suck if they're analog games and they only have digital controls, and they don't, you're not a, you're not able to put the uh, the classic analog controller into the machine, which is another mistake on that PlayStation. Uh, so I would look at the early launch games. We'll probably get Warhawk on there, which was awesome. ESPN, nope, that's too licensed. That was great, though. I love that game. Battle Arena Toshinden will probably be on there, which is did not hold up well, but it was amazing when it came out. Um, Metal Gear Solid came out in twenty or in 1996. Yeah, I think Metal Gear Solid One. Maybe. Yeah, Metal Gear. I would. But I would predict Metal Gear 1 is going to be on there. That's Here, a big one. Here's the thing, though. Like, the yeah. It costs 130 bucks plus tax in Canada. Yeah. And there's 20 games on it. Yeah. So that means you're paying... What, five bucks what, a game. That, no, that's more than five bucks. It's like... It's, and 30 like bucks six, for the hardware. Seven, it's like seven dollars per game. Right. Seven, eight bucks per game. Well, it's... So, you a lot of hardware in that, though. Yeah. So, so controllers but, but here's and the... Thing. Uh, Here's the thing I think everyone should ask themselves. Yeah. Is seven or eight bucks a price you're willing to pay for a PlayStation 1 game? Maybe when it comes to Final Fantasy VII, that's worth like seven, eight bucks. Yeah. But like a lot of it is not going to be, oh, most of the games are not going to be as big as Final Fantasy VII. It's going to be a lot of like Ridge Racer type stuff. 
Right. So it's, there's going to be filler. Right. So no! would you be willing, like if you saw that as a digital download for the PS4, would you be willing to pay seven or eight bucks for that? For like a PS1 filler type thing? Um, Most people wouldn't. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to have that same love and... and uh, I mean, it's going to be successful, because nostalgia is powerful. But, like, the NES Classic cost, what, 60 bucks? So yeah. that was, like, that was more like 2 bucks per game. Well, it, was it, 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 it cost 100 bucks in Canada, didn't it? The NES Classic? Yeah, it was... No, nine, it was, like, 70 or something. No, 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 not in Canada. It was no, 100 bucks. it wasn't 100. Not for the NES Classic. I think it was 79.99 in, in the States. That only came with one controller, though. 79.99... I think you can check them out. It wasn't a hundred though. I know it wasn't. But anyway, it had thirty games on it. And Twenty that's, games. That's the SNES class. The NES class had thirty. Games. Does it really? Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. And it was. And and those have aged so way worked, better. And than, it works out to like two. Are you sure there's thirty? I thought it was. I'm positive. Yeah. yeah? It's it thirty okay. on the NES classic, twenty on the SNES. Wow. But it, that works out to like two bucks per game. Right. Two bucks is a much more reasonable oh, yeah. price for and, an old game like that. And HDMI connection for those classic games, that was totally worth it. That thing's amazing. Yeah. There'll probably be sequels to that. Not only will we... Oh, somebody asked about the N64 Mini. We're not getting that this year. They just re... They just brought out the uh, Super yeah, Nintendo and they, they, they redid that again. So uh, we might get them another run of those because I think they sold that again. We might get another run of the NES and the SNES classics for Christmas. But the N64 Mini, that's a 2019 for sure. Uh, Abby Jamison is saying uh, wishes this was on the Switch. Yeah, me too. There's no reason this shouldn't be on the Switch. I know, this it's could nuts. Easily run it. I, honestly, I feel like the Switch version will be the, the biggest selling. Like, there hasn't been a good portable hockey game since uh, the PSP version of NHL. Yeah, yeah. That, well, that's what I mean. Like, they probably didn't been have good, the resources. There's been pretty decent mobile games, though. The uh, 2K did a mobile game not too long ago, which was okay. The AI was done. They probably didn't have the resources for it. Yeah. Because they're well, like, no, we got to put people on FIFA. And FIFA does have a Switch game, for sure, yeah. No Madden, though. No NBA. All right, there's NBA 2K19, though. Uh, Taz is pointing out that Final Fantasy VII on the PS4 is $16. Right. But that's Final Fantasy VII. All, most of the games on the PS1 Classic are not going to be the size or scale of Final Fantasy VII. Psyched about Jumping Flash. I would love to play Warhawk again, too, actually. I love that game. Back in the they might have... Um, um, Destruction Derby was a pretty good launch title. Oh, here's a ga Game Freak follow-up question. Do, how, do you think the P PlayStation 1 Classic will be as hard to find as the NES and SNES Classic? Uh, what do you guys think? I think no, because... I'm, I'm curious about what the chat would say. Yeah, let's see what they... Uh, we'll let, I'll let you know when they catch up. But, like, I mean, first of all, Sony has a better history of not having shortages of their products mm. than Nintendo. And also, I don't think there's going to be as high a demand for it. So I would guess there probably won't be shortages. Nostalgia is a powerful thing. Somebody could be making a ton of money, which is a free idea for anybody with uh, the money and the wherewithal and the passion to create a business, but somebody could be making a ton of money um, creating a retro video game store that's very much like the top-end retro um, record store that's available right now like there's a there's a place in vancouver that i like to go to called red cat records if that was the equivalent in video games so not not the you know usual junkie here's all the craps splattered all over the wall type video game store experience like a boutique yeah boutique with an elegance with you know television sets and and uh some access to play some stuff everything is dusted and clean and organized you can make a lot of money. Paul Adams, in, in response to your question about PlayStation 1 availability, yeah. I bet we'll see them in the bargain bin in the spring. Oh, wow. I agree. Dark. Uh, Graham Coombe says... Oh, did you see that? Oh, that was so cool. Graham Coombe says, agree, okay. I agree with Blake. Yeah. So that person is right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's all you got to say, guys, and you'll get a shout-out on the that's show. That's the best comment ever. <laughs> uh, Cats Games, whatever, says, no way Nintendo has a secret sauce. Yeah. So yeah, I think most people are like, yeah, uh, my legs hurt. Nintendo plays on nostalgia better than Sony. Well, the games have just aged better. We'll see how the N sixty four retro does, though. I mean, that's the N sixty four games have aged much better than PlayStation one. Yeah, games, I agree. Though. I agree, I, I, for sure. But I don't think they've aged with that same level of uh, 
beautific glow as we get with the uh, SNES and NES stuff. Is Spider-Man talking? What's the noise I keep hearing? Is that Spider-Man? Is he talking? Mm -hmm. I keep hearing something. Is it my phone? Is it the radio in my head? It's not my phone. I don't know. Something's making noise. Okay. Oh, my watch, maybe? Yeah. Could be. Uh, Paul Adamson, there are three retro gaming stores within 10 kilometers from me in Waterloo. Yeah. That's because... But are they good stores? Like, when you walk in, do you get a good oh, your, find? Oh, your iPad's about to die from power loss. Oh, okay. That's all right. Very sad. Uh, that's because Ontario, that's like we were iPad. saying before, Ontario is a very small province. <laughs> and everything is very close to each other. <laughs> I, you want to walk to Ontario after the yeah, thing? Yeah, well, let's go have a coffee in Ontario. Yeah, let's go get a, we'll get a get some, uh, And then when we're on the way back, we'll stop in uh, Montreal and get okay. some routine. That sounds good. <laughs> That'll be a nice afternoon for us. Yes. No, Ontario's got it going on. If they have ten, how many? 15 retro game stores right around you, Paul? Like, he said, I think it's four three, blocks. three within 10 More blocks. retro game stores than, than in Starbucks in Ontario? Yeah. Is that what the world, that's what the word is? That's the rule. Whenever they build like a Tim Hortons, they have to put a retro game store next to it. <laughs> oh, man. Could you imagine? That'd be awesome. Yes. Could you imagine if Tim Hortons sold games? I'm surprised they don't sell this game. You'd think they would. Right. I've seen Tim Hortons ads in the game. Right. That's a good, that's a very good comment. They should sell this at Tim Hortons. Yes. They should sell hockey sticks and shit at well, Tim Hortons, too. I mean, too. honestly, you should be able to buy this game with a ticket to any any uh, arena. Like, if you're going to go see a live event, you should be able to say, well, and here's 50 bucks more and you get the game. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sell this at the, at the hockey why, break, too. Why don't they do that? Why don't we work for EA and tell them to put the music off in the front menu? It's probably licensing bullshit. And then, and then you can see if you buy a ticket to a live game, 50 bucks more, you get the game. Why aren't we doing that? I don't know. It's crazy. Let's go to EA Canada right now and tell them, Vic. Well, we have some things They're to tell them. They're 10 minutes away. That was fun. When it's, it's, I got to the game, I was having a lot of fun. There, there I'm not are three exits on, Can on Hi Highway One. Let's uh, go. Right that was great. Are we done? Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, yeah. It's We're, Friday. We are done. It is Friday. Uh, we have Friday a classic one. episode all queued up and ready to shoot out of the EP Cannon for you in the morning. So uh, make sure you uh, come and visit us for that. And uh, let us know how we did today. Put you know, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you to Adam Sherman and E Tank. Uh, Blade Blur and the VR Grid and My Legs Hurt and Paul Adamson and uh, Electric Eliminator 5 <laughs> and uh, NHS ADM. I know you told us what that means before, but I can't. G G Cats Game, whatever. Uh, all kinds of incredible people in here. Gamer Freak 84. Some good news, great news today. Congrats to Spider Man. Uh, and some. Not great news. Um, an amazing movie and uh, a fun game that has got some really clunky control <laughs> or really clunky menus. But I had a great time and, and uh, I hope you did too. If you want to watch any of our other stuff, please do. If you dig it, hit subscribe and hit that little bell. Uh, and if you're so inclined, you can also join and become an EPN member. We'd love that. Uh, but thank you so much for watching today. We'll be back with uh, brand new EP Lives and the rundown all week long next week. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend and uh, play forever.